My Irish cousin-in-law is not a poet or a musician or an artist, and he's been out of work for about two and a half years, and he's getting very frustrated, and he said to me the other day, I will do anything, Harry, you've been around, I'll do absolutely anything, as long as it's not illegal, as long as I don't have to work for a gangster. I said, okay, that lets out Chase Manhattan Bank, that lets out the mafia, yeah. that lets out, let me see, you could be a priest, uh, you're a Catholic, or a, a rabbi, or an imam, or a Buddhist monk, but then you'd have to go to Denmark, <laughs> where prostitution is legal. And I said, and you certainly cannot be a real estate man, or anybody like that, you can't work for 7-Eleven, because it might as well scoop up dog poop. He said, do you know any honest people at all? I told him the one honest person I'd ever met, I was traveling in Turkey, and I was really in the hinterlands in central Turkey. There were bare mountains around me, bare farms around me, nothing anywhere. I was on the road by myself, and there was a man sitting there on a rocky ledge, and he had three different color shoelaces, not pairs of shoelaces, three different color shoelaces and one old shoe. And he looked at me and he begged, do I want any of those things that he has? And unfortunately, I did not, I, 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 I couldn't do it. I was carrying enough by myself. It might have been a front. He might have been doing black market goat dung. I just don't know. But he was the only honest person I'd met. And my friend, my cousin-in-law said, what about a real job? Do you know anything? I told him that the most unusual job that he could possibly ever have, and that's what the story is about. I said, if you're willing to go to Malaysia, he said, why not? Well, in Malaysia, I was there doing a story in Penang, the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful island of Penang. I cannot tell you enough about it. Three quarters of it is jungle, and in part of this jungle, a Chinese teacher had carved out what he had always loved, butterflies, a butterfly, I guess you call them farm or a butterfly place, huge, huge, huge nettings all around, beautiful plants where the butterflies go and they sip their pollen and do all the rest of it. They were the most magnificent, magnificent butterflies I'd ever seen. Monarchs and small ones, iridescent ones, jewels coming out of all parts of them. <clears throat> and I, I, he took me around, he said, are you going to write a story about this? I said, yeah, absolutely. Well, he said, come on and we'll talk about it. So I went into his office and there was a sign on a door which said, no admission, uh, no, no admittance. It said it in Malay, in Chinese, and in English, no admittance, you know. I said, so what are you doing here? You know, so he told me all about the butterflies, his love for the butterflies, everything which he had done. And he said, and of course, we, we, are, we have new species here as well, new species. And like Phil said the other day, you know, just rather a few minutes ago, is it cross-pollination? He said, no, actually, it's quite happy. There's nothing gross about it. And he said, I said, well, how do you do it? He says, I, I can't really tell you because you might publish this. I said, I, I promise you I will not publish it, and I never did. He said, okay, I'm going to take you somewhere which I've never taken anywhere before. And he opened up the door to no admittance, and there were, I swear to God, this is true, eight small microscopes, eight Malaysians who were sitting there, one at each microscope, and they were masturbating their butterflies. They were butterfly wankers. And I, and I said, this is it? This is what they do for a living? He says, well, you know, it's better than being on the farm. And, you know, when the rice is, is growing, when they're not harvesting the rice, they come here, they make a little bit of extra money by doing this, the butterfly. I said, fine. I said, so I said to my cousin, what do you think? He said, I just don't know. I said, he said, I've never done anything like this before. I says, well, as they would say in Malaysia at the butterfly farm, if you can beat them, join them. Said, oh, thank you very much.